Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a video I did last year, and I think I'm probably going to do every year, and that is just a daily fall-themed vlog. Today I've got a lot of fall things planned that I need to get done, I, we will be going shopping for decorations, I will be getting books, I will be baking some zucchini bread, I've got just lots of things planned for today, so I'm going to take you along with me as I get ready for the new season. So, let's start off with that shopping. Y'all, I went a little crazy. I'm back from shopping and I went a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna start off with the decorations. I'm gonna start off with fall decorations. Um, so Brennan tends to prefer more harvest themed decorations. So I got these cute little things for him. Me and my friends always go to Michael's uh, for our decorations just cause that was the one store that we all know of that has good Halloween decorations. But I just got these little I got these two which are just kind of plain boxes with some pumpkins and then I also got this kind of more apple based one in a basket and I figured this is very harvest time this is probably what he would like and they just look so cute and you can put them all together or you can kind of spread them out so I'll figure out where I want to put those but then for Halloween decorations something that can hang um, it says boom it's got ghosts and a pumpkin. It says boo. I'll probably put it on a door. I don't know if I'll put it on our door in or out or on our bedroom door. I'm not quite sure, but it's so cute. And then I also got, I wasn't initially going to get anything for the bookshelves because like I have quite a few decorations for the shelves. But when I saw this, I wanted it. So it's this little ghost that lights up. I mean, how cute, right? Come on now. It's just so cute. <laughs> so those are the Halloween and fall decorations that I got. I did also grab some socks uh, just because I like socks and um, I'm slowly getting more normal house items that are seasonally themed. So I have these which have like a little, little skeleton cat and then bats. Um, so I have these and then I also grabbed a pair of footy fuzzy socks that have a little pumpkin with a hat on So I thought those were really cute So these will be really nice to wear for like nights reading or watching um, Halloween movies. I'm super excited now I can move on to the books and this is where I truly went crazy Like I went a little overboard with the with the decorations, but this is the books is where I truly unleashed my inner monster I went to three different places for this. Um, I went to two half price books locations and then Goodwill. I didn't go to Goodwill for books, but then I saw a book. So the book I got on Goodwill was Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. Um, I, if you don't know, I've been collecting the original covers for these because those are the books that I read from the library and then when they came out with all these different new covers when like movies were coming out and it was getting like really popular and blah 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 
Um, they, I don't know if they just stopped selling these, like if they're out of print, but I can't find them in any like new store, like not in Barnes and Noble anywhere. So I've been collecting them used off of like thrift books and now Goodwill apparently. So this is the fourth book. I have the first four books, so all I need is the last Olympian. And I have all of the Percy Jackson in the original covers. For all the other recorded in series that I may want to purchase, they don't need to be the original covers, but I just wanted this original series in the original covers. <sighs> I'm so close, you guys. Like, I have the alert on thrift books for whenever one of them, like, becomes available in any condition. So, and this is actually really good condition. Like, it's not perfect, like, it's been loved, but, like, there's no markings, no rips, no dog ears, like, it's a little yellow, but that's totally fine, so, I'm very happy about that. My first trip to thrift books, I got The Grim Rose Girls, uh, by Laura Pohl. I read this, actually, this past, like, early summer. It's a dark academia that's based on fairy tales. The second book has come out, I have yet to read it. But I really liked it and I just love Dark Academia and it's fairy tale. So I thought I should buy my own copy of it. I got In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I read her book one by one and I really, really, really liked it. And this one had a premise that I thought sounded really good. They're kind of trapped, a group of people are, are trapped in a forest. They have their own secrets, but they're also not alone. Ominous, dark, hoo hoo hoo. So I got this one for that. I also have The Woman in Cabin 10. I got that this past spring, so I've got a couple Ruth Ware books to read the spooky season. Super excited. Then the next one that I got is a very new thriller book, and that is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I haven't read any Alice Feeney books, but this one, like I said, was a recent release. It sounded really good. It's like this whole family is gathering on this island for Nana's 80th birthday. Nana ends up dead someone has secrets or everyone has secrets and we gotta figure out what's going on if more people are gonna die or if it was just nana and why um so it's giving me very like knives out kind of vibes um and it's on an island so it's like isolated as well which was an element i really liked in the one by one by ruth Ware. so i decided to go with this one for that and then the last book i got in the first thrift books was the Dead Romantics. So this is a ghost story. It is about, uh, and this is by uh, Ashley Poston, Poston, Ashley Poston, Poston, something. Um, and it's about this writer who her father unexpectedly passes away. So she goes to the funeral and then she starts to see ghosts, but she is about to lose like her writing contract, like she's struggling, but also her new editor is a ghost. So I just, I was very intrigued about having like a live writer and a ghost editor so and I think this one also like just came out I love how bright the colors are for it being like a, a spooky book I'm excited to read that one and then my second I traveled 20 minutes to get to the next half price books because I had one book that I really wanted um, and that was White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson the only thing I really remember about being described this book is that it's a haunted house like a good true haunted house story and that's all I really needed to know because I, I know that Tiffany D. Jackson has like good writing and like she's well known but it's a haunted house story so so I had to go and pick up that and then while I was there I got distracted and the final book that I purchased I've been anticipating this release it again just came out I feel like everybody is buying it right now like I've seen it everywhere and that's Babel by R.F. Kuang. So R.F. Kuang wrote the Poppy War trilogy which I have not read and I'm not super interested in reading but Babel from what I understand it is a dark academia with an emphasis on languages which if you know me I love languages and I love dark academia this cover is beautiful so I'm I am fully here for it like i'm trying to get a degree in translation so the fact that this book actually cares about like languages and things like that it just it just warms my heart and it makes me so excited it's quite chonky so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to read it within spooky season like i'm gonna obviously try and prioritize it soon but i obviously have a lot of books here that I want to read during spooky season and it's just gonna take me a little bit to get through a chunk 
So we'll see. But oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited for this one. I think this is the one that gets me most excited out of all the ones that I purchased. <sighs> yeah. All right. I think next thing I need to do is bake the zucchini bars and then I'm going to decorate the apartment. I don't know how much I'll film the baking of the zucchini bars because I might go to my friend's apartment upstairs because they actually have a stand mixer. And I really want to use that because I'm lazy and I'm sick of mixing things by hand. <laughs> so I don't know how much of that I'll film. We'll see. But that is kind of on the docket for the rest of the day. I'll bake. I'll do the decorations. And then I'm also going to an Irish kind of sing-along thing at a pub. So... It's going to be quite the full day, but it's going to be so much fun as well. Now I have to find space for all of these on my bookshelf. That's a problem I'm excited to have. Alright, the zucchini bread has been made. I went to the singing thing at the pub, and now the only thing that's left to do is to decorate the apartment autumn. It's dark outside, so the lighting is not super great. We'll see what I can do about that, but I think it's time to decorate. <laughs> Thank you. 